Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. Welcome to Throwback Thursday. This is a little series that I do weekly where I reach back into my stash of older designs, products, papers, dyes, and we create something fresh and new. Now, spoiler alert, this is not Thursday, this is Wednesday, but I had a scheduling conflict with my uh, Thursday post. I'm doing a block hop with Really Reasonable Ribbon, so I had to bump this up to Wednesday this week. So um, there you go, you gotta be flexible in this business. So today we're working with Photo Place Thankful, which is a new release for this year. It's an absolutely gorgeous autumn collection. And I had shared a couple of weeks ago a little tag, uh, Thanksgiving treat tag project that I made with this paper. And I covered one too many tags. So as I was cleaning up, I found this Graphic 45 regular tag that I'd already covered with designer paper. And I thought, perfect, we'll use this for Throwback Thursday and I'll show how to make a little tag gift with this. This is gonna be different from what we did before. But before we get into the project, I'll just remind you, this is a gorgeous collection. You can guess this is my favorite pattern. I have used all of it. Uh, really beautiful images, great sticker sheet. Look at these cut apart, so fantastic. We're gonna be working with this little acorn today. Um, Diagonal stripe, this wonderful kitchen print, um, this great plaid, an all-over text, great random dots, this wonderful pumpkin and gourd and vine and acorn print with a burlap texture on the back. Oops, here's a little 4 by 6 that creeped in there. And then this gorgeous fall leaves with the rust, the gold, and the teal. I love this. And this uh, textural gold piece. It reads almost like a solid. So what are we making? We're going to make this adorable little shaker tag and there's a surprise box pocket folio on the back. Super cute, not hard to make, a wonderful gift. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take this little tag and we're going to turn this into a shaker. So I have taken from the ephemera pack, which I had out here somewhere. Yep, here's the ephemera pack. And you can see I've got stuff stuffed in mine. I'll take this out so you can see what's in it. There's a lot of goodies in these little ephemera packs. They always have several different sized frames, and we're working with this frame. They have different images. I used a lot of these. Helps if I do it right side up, right? <laughs> I used a lot of these on the Thanksgiving treat tags, but I still have a lot of really good ones left. So we are working with this frame and we're gonna turn it into a shaker element. We're gonna make a cute little shaker tag. I'm kind of excited about this. As I was prepping, the ideas were just kind of growing in my brain. So the first thing I did was cover this with a piece of clear acrylic cardstock. You might call this acetate. Some people call it window sheets. Whatever you call it, this is the first step. And the next step is to put um, some foam tape down. All right, so I've got all my elements put together here. You can see I put two rows of foam tape around the back side of my frame. And the main thing you wanna make sure of with this is that, um, I got a little schmutz in there, that you don't have any gaps because if you have gaps, your sequins and beads and stuff will fall through. So, Here's our tag. This is an image from that ephemera pack that I showed you. And I'm gonna glue this down. This is gonna be our focal point inside our shaker frame. And I'm putting this up fairly high on the tag. And then also from the ephemera pack, I've got these two cute file tabs. I'm just gonna show you real quick what we're gonna do with these. I'm gonna take the one that says thankful. And I'm gonna put it down right here. Then I'm gonna flip this tag over. And on the back side, I'm gonna take the one that says today. And I'm gonna glue these back to back. 
just like that. Okay. All right. So now that we've done that, we can bring in our shaker mix. And I had the colored die cut sheet and the tags. And I cut out all these little apples and leaves. These are going to go in there. And then I want to take a few little buttons. Let's get a good mix of colors here. All right. So I'm going to put some of those in just for fun. I'm sticking with the smaller buttons. And then this is Buttons Galore and More Fall Foliage Sparklets. This has beads and sequins and shaped sequins. So I'm just going to finish off this package. I think this is about the third project that I've made with these. So I'm going to empty all of those in there. Now I'm going to take the foam tape off of my shaker frame. I'm going to line this up not quite straight okay so now I'm straight and I'm going to press this down to seal it and let's see what we got oh that's cute There we go. I might could have gone with three rows of tape. I didn't want this to be too thick, but boy, I like that. That's really good, y'all. How fun is that? A little shaker. Okay, now I want to add the ribbons to this. And this is a um, copper glitz ribbon and a copper and cream plaid. These are both from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And I'm just going to thread these through the top of my tag. And there's a reason I'm doing this first. It helps me know where everything is placed. And then I've got a piece of my copper and cream. I'm going to come around like this. And while this is like this, I've taken some charms. I've got this Prima Acorn and uh, pine cone, I think these are both from one of their fall collections from last year. And I've put it on one of these pins from Really Reasonable Ribbon. These are like a vintage pin. And I'm going to thread this through and clasp it. And there's our little charms. And now I can finish tying my bow. It's just a really simple little topper here. And I'll fuss with that later. I want to flip this over. And I've also prepared some for the back side. Same thing. Run them through my jump rings. I'm going to run it through the ribbon here. And clasp it. So that's the easiest way I know of to add a charm to these tags. It makes it super simple. Before we go any further with the front, I wanna do the back. So for the back, we're gonna make this cute little folio. And I've taken a piece, I think this was seven, if my memory serves me correctly, yes. Seven by four and a quarter. And I've scored it at three and a quarter and three and three quarters to make this little book. All right. And this is going to glue down right here. I want to take another piece of my copper. Okay, so I want to put score tape right along the bottom here. And that's just going to hold this closed. Alright. 
burnish that down. I don't think I want it to go over the spine. See, guys, this is like you get to come along for the ride because I have this idea, but I don't have everything planned out. I hope that doesn't drive you crazy. Sometimes it's fun to see how the process works in, you know, in the brain of the person who's making the project. Um, and this is how I craft in real life. So it's kind of like being in the kitchen with me when I'm preparing a meal with whatever leftovers I can find in the fridge. <laughs> That's a pretty good, that's actually a pretty good comparison. I like that. All right, so I'm going to hook this on the back like this. And I'm going to leave a pretty long tail because I don't know how long, how, how long it needs to be. But this is going to be our little folio that goes on the back. So I want to, on the front, we've got that cute little acorn. And it's just going to go on the front. Very simple. And I did ink the edges with uh, Gathered Twigs Distress Ink. Now we're going to make our little box pocket. And we have a half inch spine, so we want to go slightly smaller for the depth of our pocket. So I've designed it to be three eighths of an inch. You're going to start with a piece of craft card stock. And those of you who've done this before and know how to do it, you can skip ahead. But this is four and a half by two and a quarter. And you're going to score three eighths of an inch and 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 three eighths of an inch. So you're going to have a total of six three eighths of an inch. Then on each side, starting with this outer vertical score line, you're going to cut up to the top horizontal score line and cut this outer rectangle out. Okay, just like that. Oops, well, not like that, but my scissors don't like this thick, thick cardstock. But that won't even be seen, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then beside it, just cut straight up and then cut a little triangular piece out. Okay, so come up here. Cut out this outer triangle, then cut from the inner score line up to the top, and cut out a little triangular piece. This is forming tabs. And this just makes it so that the uh, box pocket forms a nice neat square. So fold your little tabs up like this. And go ahead and pre it helps if you pre-fold all your all your scored lines. So this is face down, we folded our tabs up. We're putting our adhesive on our tabs. And we're folding this in. Okay. And you see how this sits inside on the bottom? And that little piece that we cut out just makes it fit nice and neat. So repeat this on the opposite side. Just want to make sure your corners are neat and square. Okay. Cut a little triangular piece out of this top flap on each one. And then put adhesive here and adhesive here. And glue the back of the pocket in place. Okay? So everything is neat and square, looks really good. I'm gonna set this down and just let that adhesive set. Now for the liner, you're going to cut a piece that is three and three quarters by just a little over two. It's just a hair over two. I did this so I could use the branding strip and I squirtle on the branding strip 
and then I scored three eighths of an inch on each side. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna cut up this vertical score line and then cut out a little triangle. And this is gonna be the cover for our box pocket. We're gonna cut up like this and then just cut out a little triangle. Put this face down, fold up your tabs, place adhesive on your tabs, and then just fold them, okay, like this. And then this will fit right over. See how nice that works? So now you just have to add your adhesive. I'm gonna trim this little extra bit off the bottom. And then come in with my bone folder and just kind of press everything into place. Now put your adhesive on the back of your box pocket. Bring in your little folio and glue this down. Right. So now see this clears. Now we can bring our little tie do our bow. Okay. That's really cute. Place our adhesive on the back, bring in our tag. And then center this up and glue it down. Look how cute that is, you guys. That's pretty much adorable. So it's like this little secret uh, gift spot on the back. How cute would this be uh, to hang on your neighbor's doorknob or to leave on a coworker's desk? So adorable. And then our little charms are on the front. Okay, let me do a little tidying and we'll come back and we'll finish So to finish off. off the inside of this, I have these really fun little ginger and honey crystals. These, uh, you mix these with hot water and they make a really nice warming beverage for the fall. And I've got a Ghirardelli chocolate square. And then this cute little tag. And then on the pocket, this is one of the little die cuts from the uh, colored die cut sheet. I'm just going to put this right here. It says, thankful for your friendship. And then this is one of the pieces from the ephemera pack. I'm going to put this right here. It says, every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, apples, and you. So cute. And then let's take our ribbon. Let's 
another cute little acorn. Tie a little bow. I'm going to trim off that big tail. There we go. So there's the back side done. It's like a fun little surprise. And I did a little burlap string bow to go up here, okay? Just to kind of finish that off with our little charms. Then on this side, we have our little bow. I did a burlap string bow for the top. I want to bring these charms around so I don't end up gluing them where I don't want them to be. There we go. And then, because this is Throwback Thursday, I found these asters that I had made. I don't even know how long ago. These are cheery. This is this was a cheery Lynn um, designs, and they're not even in business anymore. But um, you can use, if you want to make asters, Heartfelt Creations has a really beautiful asters die. So there's that. And then down here, I want to take these cute little tags. And overlap them. along the front. And then I have this that says autumn is my favorite color. Put this right here. Look how cute that is. And then I found these great corduroy brads. What I'm going to do is um, fold them flat, bring in my Tim Holtz scissors, and just cut the metal ends off because of down the side with these. Look how cute this is. I love the texture that the corduroy adds. These are old, these were stamping up. I don't even know how many years ago I bought them. Um, but you could use, you know, any buttons that you might have in your stash. So tie some little burlap string bows. I'm gonna put one right here. Put an aster on top of it. And I'm gonna put another one over here. And put another aster on top of it. Oops. It's really cute. There we go. And then on the back, I just want to add a flower on the top up here. And I think that finishes this up, folks. Just all right, guys, that. here it is all finished up. This is the cutest little tag. I just love it. A shaker tag with a secret little treat on the back. I did add this last little burlap string bow and aster with our acorn on the back. So that is it for me, Kathy Clement, Kathy by Design, Throwback Thursday, just a little bit early. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And now I am gonna go get my craft on. Bye.